since the beginning of April and behind me is my 1970s Sea Ray boat. Um, so the boat I show in some of my other videos. So I want to start prepping it for the 2022 boating season. Uh, last year I had some problems with the tilt motor. So today I'm going to get the boat unpacked, hopefully get the tilt motor assembly off and see if I can either repair it or put a replacement tilt motor on. So on these old stringer out drives, they don't use a hydraulic trim tilt system. It's all electric motors and mechanical. So uh, outside the boat, there's this worm gear drive assembly and a clutch pack. Um, so you have to make sure you keep that greased and there's a coupling in here and a worm gear and it's uh, all brass and um, steel. So you gotta grease it or oil it. Um, <clears throat> Pretty much every season. I do mine every season. Oil it every season, check it every season. Um, sometimes twice a season, depending on how long you want it to last. The clutch packs in there can get rusty, and if they get rusty and jammed together and you hit something, you could damage the whole lower unit. So I service mine twice a year. Put I check it and put fresh oil or grease in it in the springtime, and then in the fall I take the cover off to make sure I can drain any water out. All this was just serviced and it's in good condition but what I need to do is look at the motor the electric motor on the inside um, down on the intermediate unit this particular boat has the uh, OMC inline four cylinder and I couldn't uh, get the motor up so I, I had to run the boat aground um, so I dinked up the propeller a little bit so this year I want to try to fix that so all the way back in down here so it's all the way down in there under there you can kind of see it just back in there that's where the that's where the tilt motor is um so it's this electrical connector here and then it's got two uh i think they're quarter inch it's got two quarter inch bolts in it so you just have to take they're only like quarter inch bolts so you can turn them out by hand you just have to take some of the weight of the motor off of it all right slip, slip that out so this motor is giving me problems um, for the last few years since I've had the boat and essentially it's an electric motor that's low in the build so if you're not careful <clears throat> and you forget to take the drain plug out and it rains hard the bilge fills up and then this motor gets waterlogged and after how many years of that happening it's just thrashed it I've taken this motor apart before and I've cleaned all the uh electrical connections and I've cleaned everything and 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 serviced it and put it back together and it works a little better but it's seventy dollars for a new one so it's a couple weeks later I just got the pa this package this is the new tilt motor so it should be an exact replacement for what I took off it has the same electrical connector and the configuration on the end is the same so down in there, I think part of the old yeah, part of the old bracket was still on there, the old motor was still on there, so that's taken off now. So now So one of the things that's really annoying about these motors is the way they're assembled. The the installation bolts are what hold the motor case together. So you kind of have to be careful with them because if you're not, the whole thing's gonna fall apart in your hand. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've got the bolts started and I've got the motor fully set in and everything is in. It wasn't too much of a struggle. There's a tine on the end of the motor shaft, so you want to get that tine lined up either ver vertical or horizontal or some specific orientation and then get the motor lined up the same way otherwise you're just fighting it and the three pieces of the motor are all falling apart it has to socket into the intermediate drive so it's kind of got to fit right or it's not going to go in <laughs> Alright, and I'd say that's tight. So, another couple minutes to tighten that in. Um, so, overall, I probably got about less than five minutes into this. So, there's the uh, connection on the boat side, and then the connection on the motor sides right there. Tight. So, this grease will help. So, just put a little in there, a little in there. So I've got a portable jump pack hooked up to the battery because it's dead. It's like I got power. So this is the control for the tilt, tilt and trim. So it worked. So I lifted it about a quarter of the way. New motor is working. It's just with a dead battery in that jump pack. It doesn't have enough amperage to uh, to lift it. Get the biggest battery you can you can afford. Um, this is not the best battery. It's just from Walmart, but it's a thousand cranking amps. So it's a pretty powerful battery. This would be a battery you'd get in like a in a, like a heavy duty truck if it was automotive application. And this is just a little four cylinder. So there's tons of battery supply there for bilge pumps and lights and you know anything you could want so that's fixed